We've been in the bear market for quite some time now, and in fact, it's been more than one year already and historically, one year measured from the all-time high is usually where Bitcoin finds its bottom more or less, and if history could be an indication, that means the bottom is either already in or we are very close to it. However, I don't want to be that guy that says this time is different, but this time is different indeed, and we have plenty of examples we can point out. So I decided to make this video because I think it will be very helpful for everyone out there that keeps buying the dip but it keeps dipping and they are basically burning their cash over and over again in hope that they bought at the bottom. This can be a very dangerous strategy and mindset if you wish because crypto can give you insane results but you can also lose it all. So make sure you stick until the end because I'm gonna drop a lot of valuable information that you don't wanna miss out on and I wanna make it clear from the beginning that everything I'm gonna say in this video should not be considered financial advice and that's just how I see the situation going forward. So the first and probably the most convincing example we can point out that the crypto bottom is still not in and Bitcoin will capitulate sooner or later is that crypto has never existed during a recession and there is a very high probability we can go into one next year. But what does this exactly mean? Well, first and foremost, all the different indicators that we have about Bitcoin and the crypto market as a whole, I think they should be considered irrelevant right now because probably half of them already indicated that Bitcoin has bottomed on the June low but now it's confirmed that that was not the bottom and some more were triggered on the November low. However, they were built during times when the money printer was on all the time and the US economy was strong. Imagine having a strong economy with very low inflation and still dropping like 85% from the top. And now during these terrible macro conditions, how likely is 77% from the top to be the bottom? Not very likely in my opinion. In fact, it sounds foolish to think that this could be the bottom considering all that. And in my opinion, it's not very smart to think that it should play like it did in the past. Because for instance, during the 2015 bear market, there was like one year sideways action after the bottom for Bitcoin, ranging from $200 to $300. But in the next bear market, Bitcoin went for a massive 4.5x rally only half a year after the bottom. Of course, it went back down to these lows after another half a year or so. But my point is that you should expect similarities between one cycle and another, but you should definitely not make your investment decisions only based on what happened in the past. Historical data can be a very good estimate of what you can expect but keep in mind that can happen something completely different as well and taking into account that the macro is pretty bad right now it's very likely that this bear market will be very different than the previous ones another very strong argument that i want to point out is that we all know the bitcoin price is closely correlated with the u.s stock market which means when the stock market goes up bitcoin goes up and vice versa therefore we can actually use the s p 500 data to determine the bitcoin's long-term direction and also if i measure the price of S&P 500 from the all-time high to the local bottom, we can see that so far we have around 28% pullback. But is that a lot or not? Well, to find out, we have to put things into perspective. So for instance, just the COVID dip was around 35%. That pretty much happened lightning fast and we recovered pretty quickly as well. However, if we zoom out and to make it even more noticeable, I will draw this channel so you can see it better. Since 2009, we've been on a massive rally and going constantly up with with no real bear markets. So if you are not a complete beginner, you should know at this point that the price of any asset cannot go up forever and at some point there will be a significant pullback. And I think the macro is now suggesting that we might reach this point. But how low the S&P 500 can go? Well, if we have a look at the 2008 financial crisis and measure from the top to the bottom, we can see that the stock market dropped around 58% and that's a lot of money going out from the market. If we go a little further back in time to the dot-com bubble and again measure from the top to the bottom we can see that S&P 500 dropped almost 51% but apart from the price capitulation there's another thing called time capitulation which can be way more brutal so if I measure from the top again to this low point which marked the reversal we can see that it took around 900 days or around 2.5 years the market to flip bullish again so apart from the investors suffering 50% losses they had to wait 2.5 years until they see the price finally starting to move up up. And if I go and apply this to the current times and measure 50% from the all-time high, this will put the price of S&P 500 at $2,400. But more importantly, this can potentially happen in the summer of 2024. And bear in mind that I'm saying potentially, it doesn't have to play out exactly the same. We are just playing out a potential scenario here. But if we check the 2008 crash to add some more examples for a potential scenario, in this case, it took around 500 days until the market finds its bottom. And 
and 500 days from the current all-time high will put the bottom in the summer of 2023. Of course, I don't want to put the same percentage pullback because this will basically put the price of S&P 500 at $2,000 and that will be a pure disaster. But don't assume this is not possible though. So I'm telling you all that because the traditional markets didn't have a major pullback yet and in my opinion, there's definitely one that it's coming. I can't say how bad things can go in terms of price and I don't want to give any price predictions but there is a very big room to the downside and it's very likely that a 27% pullback is not even close to the bottom and if that's the case crypto will suffer and it will suffer badly and whoever thinks that bitcoin cannot go to 10k I want to remind them that another thing that makes the this time is different thesis valid is that bitcoin never went below its previous all-time high ever before but this time it went way below it and I was honestly surprised that I didn't find a decent support around these prices it felt quite easy breaking through 20k and here we are now the local bottom is 15.5k and it's struggling to break through the 17k level so I don't want to be the bearer of bad news or spread FUD or anything like that but I think S&P 500 didn't bottom yet with this 27% retracement and when the price starts to go down big time Bitcoin and the whole crypto market will be absolutely destroyed and this is when in my opinion we can see the Bitcoin bottom and start accumulating as much as we can and slowly turn bullish again and so when this happens we will see all the indicators being way off and they didn't mark the bottom correctly at all and we can after that talk about exceptions in the market and that the history doesn't repeat itself exactly the same way and that the indicators should be used for general guidance and so on and so forth so I have no idea which influencer you are following and what technical analysis and indicators he is showing you about the market to claim that the bottom for Bitcoin is already in but I'm telling you right now don't follow anyone blindly and don't trust these indicators don't trust myself either I can be completely wrong as well all I want to say is that I highly recommend you to follow the S&P 500 price action very closely because I see a very high probability of at least another 10% pullback from the all-time high which is basically 25% from where we are right now I know that everyone is calling for higher prices when we are in a bull market and many people are also trying to call the top and at the same time everyone is calling for lower prices when we are in a bear market and many people are trying to call the bottom but I'm not giving you any price point suggestions or any gut feeling predictions or anything like that I just think based on the current macro and the downside potential of S&P 500 Bitcoin can drop much lower and if it goes down to 10k this will represent an 85% pullback which is not something extraordinary because in the last cycle it dropped 84% for example while the macro was not this bad and one last thing to keep in mind is that the bottom won't mark the start of the bull market immediately there is usually something called accumulation phase after the bottom which can last more than a year and so you'll have plenty of time to buy your favorite crypto coins while they're still cheap I think there is a very high chance for Bitcoin to find its bottom in 2023 and the whole year to pretty much move sideways so I don't expect anything exciting in the near future apart from a few bear market rallies here and there but overall I think more pain is around the corner and with that being said please remain very cautious and always have a bullish plan and a bearish plan nothing is for sure and you must be prepared for both scenarios if you guys like the content please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss any future videos I will be providing updates on the market and I also cover many other topics that you might be also interested in so definitely consider subscribing it's completely free thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one